Welcome, hello, hello for another edition of the video productions by the Ortolino Company. But I should present myself uh, first. My name is Dieter, Dieter Anshura, and I'm your host for this video. And I'm the owner of the Ortolino Company, and we've sold Japanese prints, but also a contemporary and modern prints in weekly online auctions since 2000 and one exclusively online. And in this video, I want to present you another print by Paul Binney, the Scottish born Japanese printmaker, Scottish Japanese printmaker, today worldwide um, renowned, established, um, and one of the leading, if not the best, printmaker of the so-called Mokuhanga art movement. Mokuhanga stands for woodblock print and Mokuhanga uh, is um, a movement worldwide of printmakers who use this old Japanese style to make art prints. Well, what does it show? Um, let's start with the title. The title is rather long, my friends. Flowers of a hundred years, um, dot, a frontispiece illustration of 1900. Well, it shows a beautiful woman. Um, the Japanese have the word Beijing for that. It is some old genre of Japanese woodblock printmaking, and she reads something. She reads an old book, a woman from around 1900. And um, this is from a series that Paul started, and it's the first design um, from this series. And the series also has the title, Flowers of a Hundred Years. And um, this woman, she studies a so-called Kuchie. Kuchie? Well, where are Kuchie? Well, these were frontispiece illustrations of a magazine or magazines uh, for soap opera novels, yeah, soap opera novels. And these soap opera novels were especially targeted at female readers, at women. And at that time, so from the end of the 19th century until early 20th century, this was rather popular in Japan. And Paul created this print in 2012, like most of Paul's um, prints, also, this one uh, has an edition of 100, and it was published in Paul's preferred size of um, roughly in inches, um, 19 by 13 inches, roughly in centimeters, roughly 33.5 30, by 47.5 centimeters. And Japanese uh, all print collectors call this format Dai Oban, Dai Oban. Um, Paul is a nice guy, um, and therefore he wrote an explanation about this print in the subject, what are Kuchi E. And um, I think the best idea is we just read um, just two paragraphs of what Paul, Paul Binney wrote um, about what are Kuchi E, what's the subject. Um, what's the background um, of this print. And because my English is not so very good, I mean, my pronunciation is kind of the very style, I propose um, that I ask my uh, computer notebook to read, okay? The full title of the first print is Senkyu Hayakunen no Kuchi, a frontispiece illustration of 1900, and it shows a young, middle-class woman looking at the woodblock printed illustration in the front of a copy of Bunjay Karabo, a very popular literary magazine aimed at a female audience. By 1900 there were several magazines like this one, all of which serialized works of new and older fiction, and might include poetry and criticism. The important point is that by this time, the educational reforms of the Meiji government meant that women were now on an equal footing with men in being taught to read and write to a functioning level, so Japan had become a nation with universal literacy. The situation was such that the female population, 
which had remained largely neglected during the previous Edo period, now had the skills to read and write competently, and had access to literature, even supporting a specific genre of literary magazines aimed at wa. I hope you could understand this computer-read excerpt from a short article by Paul Binney. And I hope Paul Binney is not too shell-shocked to hear his original text spoken by a computer in a kind of a, a funny kind of American accent. Paul Binney, um, nevertheless, is British. However, today he lives in the U.S. Um, more about Paul Binney. He was born in 1967 and he made his BA and I think also Master of Arts and Art History in Scotland, University of Edinburgh, I think, but correct me if I'm wrong. And then he went to Paris and there he discovered Japanese woodblock prints and he decided to go to Japan to learn how to make them. And there he spent nearly five years, no, nearly six years, more than five years, and uh, under the guidance of a master carver and master printer, he really learned the trade. And today he's a leading uh, Mokuhanga artist, Mokuhanga, mm, another word for woodblock print, the Japanese way, and some say the uncontested leader uh, in this field. His prints are today in such uh, renowned museums like the Metropolitan Museum of Arts or the British Museum or also in the Modern Museum or in, in the Museum of Modern Arts in New York. And a few weeks or a few months ago, there was an exhibition at the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Arts in New York. And this was an exhibition about Japanese prints, Japanese, the style of Japanese prints over 200 years was something like that. And about two dozens of Paul's prints were selected to represent the period of contemporary Japanese woodblock print making. Well, so much um, about Paul Binney. And you are so lucky, and we are so lucky, that we can offer his prints in our auctions. And in our current auction, you find two prints by Paul Binney, and one is this from this series of women um, from Japan over the course of time. Well, thanks for watching, and have a good week, and take care of yourself.